welcome back to my channel and if you're new please press subscribe and like I cannot thank you all enough for subscribing to my channel I cannot believe it's nearly at 40,000 like what I never even thought I'd ever get like even one follower let alone like 40,000 people <laughs> it's insane so many of you said my videos weren't appearing in your sub box so I don't know why so if you don't want to miss my videos just press that little bell I think it shows you when I upload. Anyway, I thought I would do today a haul video because so many of you guys were asking for my haul video. So I thought I'd film a load so you can get lots of new spring inspo in there. So we have a lot of florals, a lot of pastels. I love spring because it's such an excuse to like be a very girly girl. <laughs> so let's get into it. So first up, I'm going to start with like the laziest, pinkest, girliest top. <laughs> I just love this. It's so Chloe Girl vibes. I wore it in my Primark haul, but I just wanted to show you, like I wore it sitting down, but I wanted to show you how I style it and like full length and stuff, but I just wanted to give it a massive shout out because it's just stunning. It's this Bordeaux top, very Chloe Girl vibes. It's got loads of lays on it and it's got little sleeves as well, so it sits like this. So beautiful. It's from ASOS. It was one of the expensive ones on ASOS, but actually half price at the moment so I had to pick it up just it's really good quality well made it's from keepsake and I got the extra small so yeah just a beautiful top to pair of jeans really casual white jeans or something like that and I think it's just a gorgeous gorgeous top it's like my favorite at the moment so this is the top on I've just paired it with some jeans from Zara I love Zara like crop jeans they fit really really nicely and some cool ballerina kind of tie up shoes and my Chloe dupe that I got last year but I think they're still in stock and they have them in loads of different colors I believe I might be wrong it's very Chloe girl vibes very simple effortless like spring outfit this is the top a little closer you can see the layers here really beautiful material like falls really nice Nicely. and this is the bag up a little close it has all the same details on it really really nice Chloe girl s kind of vibe <laughs> so next up I have a really snuggly jumper it's this one from Missy Empire and I think knits are so important at this time of year in England because it's still freezing but I think if you go for like lighter pale knits it really works with that spring kind of vibe so this is a big color like for obvious reasons I've just shown you two tops in this color but I just love this color it's like a salmony pink but if you can I don't know if you can see it's a really nice knit it's like really thick chunky and it wasn't expensive I can't remember how much it was but as always everything will be linked below but look how beautiful this knit is like a giant cake knit with a big snuggly like color I just absolutely love this and they have it in a lot of different colors so go check them out if you want like a big snuggly chunky knit because I think they're so ideal for England because <laughs> it's freezing so this is the knit on you can just see how warm and snuggly it is I love it so much I might just pick it up in all the colors that they have on the site it's such a good buy and of course gonna pop on my Primark Chloe dupe sunglasses again to just get that really casual laid back vibe you could obviously wear it with flats as well as you wanted to but I just love these oversized jumpers so this is the knit a little closer you can see my cute glasses here as well love this look love the color I just think it's such a nice snuggly knit for spring like the color everything about it okay next I'm gonna get this one right here this one is from Sheen and I loved it because it was so unusual it's got this beautiful like thick embroidered material here I love the colors like the line <laughs> lilac lemon green I love that kind of color very springtime like colors and then I just thought it was a fab combination it's like a dusty gray lilac -y, like what is this called horse hair it's actually it's faux don't worry guys but like what is it there's a name for this type like long haired fur I just thought how unusual but how beautiful was this perfect of like the most simplest of outfits I love it I always say I love it when you wear a simple outfit and the jacket like just does the talking it's talking to me so this is the jacket on I absolutely love it it's like my new favorite jacket it's I just love the contrast of it I think it's something really quirky something that no one else will probably have on and I have underneath just this white shirt from Primark you would have seen it in not my last Primark haul but my 
last last primer crawl and I've just tied a belt around the middle to draw the whole thing in but yeah really love it this is it a little closer you can see the fluffiness a little bit better here <laughs> and I've just tied a belt around the middle as well to draw the whole thing in I do do a lot of tutorials on how to I've done it a few times on my channel of how to tie the belt I think there's one at the end of my denim look book if you want to see how I do it okay next up is this like satiny night shirty thing but just look how beautiful these colors are i'm all about these pink and vibrant colors and just bright vivid things this spring and i just thought that was beautiful and it has this like little tie to go with it so you can like tie it around the waist like that um but i just i thought this would look cool i don't think i have them but like with some huge bright pink like tassely earrings like that really oriental kind of vibe but i just thought such a beautiful outfit for this time of year. So this is the shirt on. I've just rolled the sleeves up and put the belt at the back because I thought it was quite nice. But so many different ways you could wear this. You couldn't. You could even have it open without a belt. You could leave the belt off and just button it up because it does have buttons down. Um, I recommend some tip tape. Probably a good idea. Just pair it with a clutch, some jeans and some studded shoes and some cute little earrings which I don't know if you can see. They're really cute. So the next couple of items are very smart, casual, like office wear kind of vibes. You know me, I love that kind of vibe. Like very chic. So I'd seen this jacket, it was knocking around like misguided, boohoo, and I actually picked it up from Missy Empire, but I think a couple of them do it. It's like very Balmain vibes. They do it in tan, do it in white, so many different colours, but I picked it up in black, so just I love the colour black, I think it's really sexy. Um, yeah, very Balmain. It doesn't show it very well, me holding it up, but it's a very fitted jacket, and I just, I love the buttons on it. I thought that was a very nice detail. Very Balmain vibes. So this is the jacket on. I've just paired it with a lace cami underneath, um, my Louis Vuitton duke bag, some ripped jeans. I love, like, the counteracting, like, the ripped jeans with, like, the smart vibe. I think it works really nicely together. And, of course, some heels to pair the whole outfit together. This is the look a little closer. You can see the buttons down the center a little bit better here. You can see the Louis Vuitton dupe here that I picked up a little bit better. It's beautiful. I love it. It's from Sephora. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about four bags. I've got four. You would have seen in my primer called that I mentioned slightly a Valentino dupe, but I wanted to give it a big shout out because I think it was a very good find. So I picked this up. I think it was from Missy Empire as well. I'm not entirely sure, but it will be linked in the description box as always because I've really can't remember where I get stuff from. Look how beautiful this bag is. Like the metal on it is like really, really, looks very good quality for the price of it. Um, I did my usual trick and swapped out the chain for like a thicker chain that I already have. If you watch my channel a lot, you know I do this. I have like a couple of really nice chains and I think it can just make all the difference on a bag. This is the chain that came with it and it's perfectly fine. I just changed it up for like a thicker one to give it a more expensive look, but you don't have to do that. I just tend to do that a lot. <laughs> but it's a really good, like, hack if you want to make bags look a little more expensive than they actually are. Like, keep a good chain. And most chains on bags just, like, hook and unhook. I don't really know why. But, yeah, Valentino dupe. Had it in black as well. Love this. Kind of want it in black too. So, yeah, I'll link it down below. Next up, a couple of you had noticed it hanging up in my, um, the back of my videos. But you will have seen I wore so much that black and gold chain bag, the Chanel dupe. Um, it's quite expensive for a dupe, but it's really good quality, really good leather. And I have worn it so much and it's lasted so well. I literally wear it every day. <laughs> so, I picked up the nude one. One, and it's very similar to a Chanel. It's got all like this exactly the same as the black one. Actually, it has this little flap in, so it really keeps your stuff in. So it has this extra flap that the black one doesn't have, but I don't know if they've just upgraded the bag slightly at Illyria. And um, it's from a brand called Illyria. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it, but again, I'll leave it in the description box. But just look how similar this is to. A Chanel bag and I think in Finch at Chanel this costs about three grand or something. I'm not entirely sure. Never shop Chanel bag. <laughs> I wish. I just thought I don't want to buy a Chanel right now. This is the next best thing. My baby. My new nude baby. 
if you hadn't noticed it already, <laughs> this is another dupe. I actually didn't realise it was a dupe until I, I got it. I just loved the quality of it. Like, it looked really nice leather. Um, this is the thing about these dupes. It's from Sephora, and they do really good handbags. Like, really nice, materialed handbags. Like, even though they may be a dupe, it's, like, a really nice handbag. But I have a feeling this sold out really fast. But I'm going to link it down below anyway, so you can, like, browse the site and see if you can find, like, any other good finds. But I always go on these sites. Sephora, Sheen, Romway, Rose Girl, they always have really good quality bags for like inexpensive prices. So yeah, I'll leave it linked down below, but we'll just put it back here. <laughs> this next bag is like the cutest little bag ever. It's so cute. I love the little detailing on it. Very similar to a Hermes bag, I think. They have this detailing on it. But um, yeah, I haven't actually opened it yet. Let's have a let's have a browse inside. So this just pops out. You don't actually need a key for it. But um, very secure. If you uh, want a secure handbag. Oh yeah, it has. Oh, it has like quite a thick strap. So oh oh, this is handy. So you have a little strap and a thick strap. So you can have two kind of vibes with it, or you could just hold it as a little mini. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. Um, I'll try both the straps on now for you. I also think these came in a load of different colours as well. Okay, so this is the bag with the thicker strap on. I really like the thicker strap. I think it's really nice. It's like a military kind of vibe. Just pet it with a trench from Primark, but you get the idea. And then you have the shoulder thinner strap, which you can just throw it over your shoulder like this. These are also my really super cute sunglasses, which are like really tiny, and I'll leave them linked down below. So this next one is very... Tweedy Chanel vibes, you know how much I like them kind of jackets, but I just, I had to pick this one up. It's got the gold buttons on, very much like a lot of similar tweed jackets I have, but I just, I love the tassels on it. I told you I had a tassel addiction at the moment, but I just thought this was like so unusual and I just loved it and it was super cheap. I'm literally addicted to tassels at the moment. It's getting a bit intense, this situation, but um, <laughs> I just loved it. So let me try it on for you. So this is the jacket on. I've just tied it around the middle with a belt. I love the gold buttons, if you can see them here, and the tassels, just everything about this. I'm absolutely loving tassels at the moment, so when I saw this jacket, I just had to have it. One of you mentioned in my last haul that you wanted to see some flat shoes, so I have some flat shoes. These are from Nex, and I just loved them because they were like that practical shoe. Very sensible, very practical, and they were that colour that I'm really liking at the moment, but I liked the tan strip as well. I just thought they were comfortable, practical shoes, and there's nothing worse than blisters, and I love the fact that these are really squishy material. I don't know if you can see, like they're really squishy, so we'll potentially really avoid the blister situation and the colour just goes with everything so when you're really struggling for a shoe to wear with something I think these would be great. So this jumper is just so beautiful. I love it. I think it's the perfect knit for spring. It's like wool here, lace here which is just a beautiful lace and then it's got these really fluffy tassely sleeves. The tassel addiction is going strong but I don't know if you can see the tassels in this. Um, is it coming out? But it's got like speckles of like beautiful like little late, I don't know, it's just gorgeous. If you were looking for a beautiful knit this spring, then this might be it. This could potentially be a very good option. Oh, it's so soft as well. So this is the jumper on. I've just paired it with some shorts. I've purposely cut off my legs because I haven't fake tanned and they're super, super pale and blotchy. <laughs> but um, you get the idea. I've just paired it with some shorts, a Zara little handbag and some cat eye sunglasses. I just, I love the tassels on it. <laughs> I think this is super cute. I just obsessed with tassels at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> so guys, that's it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, let me know your favourites in the comments below. I love to know what you guys like the best. And my Instagram is at Laura Blair. Come say hey over on there. And I'll see you soon for another video. Even when I've left, I do right by you. I'll be your everything. Your blue sky.